What's up? Nice yeah. to see you. Nice to see you too. Taylor, back to pass. He'll dump it over the middle to Gibson. Chandon Sullivan tries to keep him in bounds. And he does! Break down Chandon! And that's the ball game! Wow. Your Minnesota Vikings have won six in a row! Six straight one-score victories. As a defensive player, when you're in those moments at the end of the game, what is that like? Uh, I mean, high pressure situations for sure. Now we're kind of getting more comfortable to have been in those positions before. So there's a lot of confidence that someone's going to show up and make the big time play when we need it the most. Intercepted by the hitman! Let's go, boy! As we're building this season on to week 10 already, uh, we're trying to solidify what that identity and what our standard of our defense is. How would you describe the identity right now? You know, I think it's, you know, a, a group of guys who love one another and you see through our, our play together how much uh, in you know, infectiousness there is or, or um, passion there is behind our, our play. And so um, I think you have a, a squad that loves one another, that trusts one another to show up. It's the grittiest group I've ever been with, man. Chris, let's go win this game, all right now? To be in their gap or to, to do their assignment when it needs to be. So full team defense, I think, is um, something that we want to hang our hats on. I love that you use the word infectious. I think that's what a lot of the fan base is feeling kind of be, being galvanized by you guys, having a great time out there. Has there been a moment in your career and what would it be that you felt this way about a certain team that you're on? Hmm. It's a great question. Um, I, I think I had a similar feeling when we won the AFC East for the first time in 26 years when I was with the Bills. That's interesting you bring up the Bills. Obviously that's where we're headed on Sunday. What do you think your feelings are like heading into that game? Yeah, I, mean, I know it's going to be an emotional game for me. I think that the closer we get to kickoff, the more. I, right now, I don't really feel it as much. But as we fly back to Buffalo, which is where I lived for the last four years, and um, stay at the hotel right by my friend's apartment, and, you know, do all the things that I'm will do there Saturday night and Sunday, um, I'm sure I'll get more amped up. And sitting on the away sideline is going to be very funky feeling. But. Um, <laughs> When the schedule first came out, this was obviously one of the games on the schedule that I, I really looked at and highlighted. Like, oh, this is going to be a fun one. Now they go to Buffalo. Josh Allen's got a dinged arm. I think over these next two weeks, we're going to find out exactly who Minnesota is. Josh Allen injured on Sunday mm -hmm. and questionable for Sunday's game. If Case Keenum gets the nod on Sunday, how do your preparations change? Um, if we see Case Keenum, you know, I think we, we maybe would anticipate a little bit more of the run game and a little bit more relying on their front that they do some really well things. But Case Keenum has been a fantastic football, won, won um, games in this league. And so I, I don't think they're going to try to switch it up too much. Well, that plan would fall right into what you do so well. You were brought here to shore up the run defense. And now you guys are allowing the ninth fewest yards per game mm -hmm. on the ground. What is working so well for your guys up front? Uh, I think we're starting to understand the, the new defense a little bit better. So having us up front playing schemes a little different than what we've been used to in years past and um, seeing different offenses for the first time, getting those looks. And um, I think we always get better as the game goes on too. Um, and then it, it helps when, uh, you know, our edge department is, is doing their thing too. You know, this is also a very opportunistic defense not a game that has not had a turnover. It's pretty remarkable you're on that type of a streak as well. When it comes down to how turnovers can affect the game, why is this team so good at creating them at crucial times? The ball came out at the end of the play, and the Vikings recover it with Harrison Phillips. I think the turnover differential is the number one indicator for you know wins and losses in the league. And you look at all playoff teams or you know successful teams, they all are winning the turnover margin in games. So that's been something that's preached to us since day one too, is you know that camaraderie, connection, partnership, and taking the football away. Um, and somehow, some way, I think the you were starting to see the fruits of our labors of the planting those seeds all through the off season, the OTAs, training camp, uh, when we we talked about punching out footballs and, and high point interceptions and all those things that happen, um, we're, we're starting to see the harvest a little bit. I love them personally because the defensive celebrations have been epic this yeah. year. I mean, you just completed the bowling one, which has caught Twitter of course. on fire. I mean, it's been almost, it's been named by a few people by the best one so far this season. Awesome. The expectation is high. What is next? Uh, you know I can't share that with you. <laughs> so there's, but you're saying there's something well, there's in the talks. works. Okay. There's talks.